everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead and I am making crock pot bow tie casserole. I forgot, I've been browning Hamburg in another video that I was making and I forgot this was an actual crock pot recipe, low on six hours. So we're gonna have to, it is now 2.30, so we are going to have to do this on high. So follow me along and I will get to it. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. All right, so I am going to try to do this really fast. Thank God that while I was doing the other video with ground browning up all my ground beef, I already did that. So, um, this is my ninja. Brown ground beef with onion and garlic and put in crock pot and add sauce. Well this is a multi cooker so I'm gonna add the ground beef that I had set aside for that and I am chopping up an onion. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because this is an accident waiting to happen. You know me gracefully in the kitchen so we're just going to cut all this onions I set up and whole uh, one onion but we'll see how much this half an onion this is a pretty big onion I'm just giving it a rough chop because I'm kind of in a hurry here My daughter just came home. So we're going to get that in here. Uh, do a little more. So we only have a half onion left. So I'm going to chop the rest of this onion and I uh, will be right back. Okay, so I got the onion in there. I'm going to add one clove of garlic. I'm just going to dump it in there. And... It's supposed to cook the onion with the ground beef, but I didn't do that. But this is a slow cooker, so it, it, it cooks, sautés, it does all that. So now we're going to add in a 15-ounce can of tomato sauce and a can of stewed tomatoes. So I don't have a 15-ounce can. I have two 8-ounce cans and a big can of stewed tomatoes. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get those opened, and I will come back. I love this handheld can opener. Love it, love it, love it, because I have... One outlet here, and with two out, um, two outlets right here. But I have the light and the slow cooker, so can't plug in my, uh, and my, I can't do it by hand. My hands are so bad. So we're gonna get those in there. I love it because it, it's safe. There's no sharp edges. We're going to dump that whole can of stewed tomatoes in there. I'm not a big fan of stewed tomatoes, I will have you know. So I may break those down into pieces. Sometimes it doesn't open it. I don't think I had it down on the can. Hopefully this one opens. We'll bring it back! Alright, now we're going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Or to your liking. Salt and pepper. One moment please. And it's starting to get chilly again. I had, you know, the door open and the windows open, but now it's getting chilly. So we're going to stir all this around. Ground beef, onions, 
these stewed tomatoes. I should have used my immersion blender and broke them down. I'm not a big fan of these big ch chunks of tomato. I am not. I like, I can handle diced tomatoes, but I prefer the mint, the, the petite ones. So I'm just going to break these pieces down. I always keep some on hand though, because you know, why not? All right, so I'm going to mix this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I remember watching a video of Lisa Sutton's over at Sutton's Days where she made a goulash. And I've made it and, oh my God, it's fabulous. And the secret ingredient was tomato soup. This is from 1222. Still smells fine. So I'm going to add in. It just takes it over the top. So I'm going to add in a can of tomato soup. I noticed it made it a mellow taste. Because I get heartburn sometimes from saucy stuff. So, and then when I made that goulash and added the cans of tomato soup, she added two to her recipe. But this isn't the goulash recipe. So I'm only going to add one. So we're going to get this in there. I've chopped up some of these um, tomatoes. I've got it on high. I'll take it, you know, I'll check it later. Um, but yeah, I love this ninja. Oh my God. So it's on slow cook. I will bring you back when it's time for the next part of this. All right. So I am going to put this on low now. Because it's quite... bubbly. So I'm going to start cooking the bow tie noodles. I'm going to boil them as the directions. Whoops, I'm making a mess. And I'm going to have to say I did taste this and oh, delicious. Delicious. I love this cooker. I love this cooker. So I put it down on low. Just want to make sure that well, I don't want to burn it. Remember I started it on high. So I'm going to get the bow ties cooked and then that'll make way for the next sections of the video because then we just add um, we cook it on we put the noodles in add pasta parmesan and one cup of mozzarella and I had mozzarella shredded from a, a video the other day and I still I have about a half a cup or a little less of parmesan cheese um, so we're going to use that all right so I have the rest of this mozzarella cheese that I um, shredded the other day, it calls for one and a half cups, but this is what I got. It might be close. And then it calls for half a cup of shredded parm cheese. And this is what I have. So this is what I'm gonna use. Probably equals about that. So we're good to go. I got to use up some things that were in the fridge. I have, bring you over, I have the water boiling and the noodles in there. And, oh my God, I just tasted this again. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. I'm glad I added that kind of tomato sauce, uh, that tomato soup. Oh my God, it mellows it out really good. It's so delicious. So I'll bring you back and when we plate it up. All right, so I added the noodles back in. I'm gonna stir that around. I'm gonna get it really, really mixed well. Mm, it smells heavenly.
Okay. Now we're going to do Parmesan and one cup of mozzarella. It says to turn it on high after we do that. So we're going to add in, it's supposed to be a half a cup. This looks to be about a half a cup. So we kind of worked out good having this little bit left. Don't get rid of this, you could wash it and grow in that. All right, so we're gonna add the mozzarella. We're supposed to leave some for the very, very end, so I'll just sprinkle that around, make sure I get all the big pieces loosened up. Put the cover back on. Add Parmesan, one cup of mozzarella. Oh, we're supposed to mix it. My bad. All right, so we're going to mix it. I see. I see. Then Add the last half a cup after the 30 minutes because you're supposed to add the pasta during the last 30 minutes of cooking. So we'll plop it up to high. If I can go down to 30 minutes. Yeah. And then we'll add the last half a cup of cheese after. All right, so it says three minutes left on my Ninja. So I put my garlic breads in the oven and we're going to sprinkle the remaining Parmesan cheese on top. That's awesome. I got to use up the left, uh, left uh, leftover cheese. We're going to shut this off. And I'll be back. All right, I am plating it up, and it's very cheesy. guys I'm trying it it's delicious I've already tried it I'm at my desk so those of you who want to complain about my video and shakiness I'm so sorry I don't always have people here that can actually hold the camera for me, but this is delicious. I'm so glad I added that tomato soup. It mellows it out so that people have that have sensitive stomachs. Jack! Sierra, you're going to have to feed the cat. So the people that have sensitive stomachs, it mellows it out so it doesn't bother you because I'm one of those people. But yum. And I made garlic bread. Yum. So now I'm going to go eat. Bye.